Hey everybody, Fox Rose here, and welcome back to Shield Nuzlocke Part 2. Uh, in this episode, we're going to have a little bit of a guest appearance with my very good friend, who I've known for years and years. Would you please like to introduce yourself? Hello, Internet. My name is Squee the Mog. I'm a goblin, and I'm not those kinds that kill people. Woo! Excellent. Alright, so where we left off in the first part of the Nuzlocke, which uh, Squee has been... Far past in his playthrough of Sword is uh, the very first rival match with Hop, and uh, we're literally about to go into the slumbering weld. Well, looks like you've reached that part of the game where it's going to be very fun, and I look forward to actually getting back there eventually in the story myself. <laughs> oh, oh, you know about that. I have no idea. Like, I just, I'm at the point of the game where, like, Sonia went off like, oh, wait, you guys saw a legendary Pokemon there? <gasps> oh my god, I need to go there. Okay, bye. Yeah, pretty much. And I'm just like, wait, so I can choose where I go? Nah, nah, I probably can't. So I decided, screw it, I'm going to head towards the dark gym, and then stuff and things happened. Yeah, fair enough. So one thing that, uh... You probably don't know about the Slumbering Weld, which you're going to love if you're going for a new Pokemon only. You can yeah. you can encounter Galarian Weezing as an overworld encounter. <laughs> I can't catch it. Uh, I caught a coughing earlier, and it died in a gym battle against the fighting type. Uh, what was her name? Bay? B, her name I think. Bay. Yeah. Okay, so story time, folks. So I went into the fighting gym with, like, a flying type uh, and maybe, like, one other one that had advantage. They immediately died in the first gym fight, not even making it to the actual gym leader to the first gym fight in one-shot moves because takeout is, well... Frankly, bullshit takeout. on Stuffle. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, stuff with takeout. Why is this hilarious, and why did that one-shot a Pokemon that was five levels higher than you? <laughs> what I think is hilarious is Beware, that in that same fight, has weaker moves than Stuffle. Really? Yeah, if you actually look at the moveset, it actually doesn't have takedown. It actually has more status debuff moves instead of, like, actual attacks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, just killed a Squall Vent. Gonna fight a Rook D right now. And, uh, f for context, people, Squee is actually doing his first playthrough of Sword as an actual Nuzlocke. And, uh, what does your team consist of right now? Uh, okay. So I just caught another Pokemon. You know that one Pokemon that's basically just a giant iceberg, but, like, walks around on all fours? So, Bergmite or Avalug? Uh, Birdmite. I don't have Avalog yet, but I look forward to getting him, because he's one of my favorite Pokemon. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, I've got the fully evolved form of Imp Dimp, which is freaking awesome, and I love him. He is a goober. Yeah, Green um, Sorrel. I hope to get him on my, uh, Nuzlocke here. <laughs> uh, I wish you luck, and I hope to God he doesn't die, man. Yeah, right. Um, let's see. Uh, stay away from old ladies in the forest, folks. Don't trust them. <laughs> they will kill you with psychic powers. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. G yeah, so okay. welcome to the Foster Rose channel, where I'm sure it's very family-friendly. And then Squee comes on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Cyber Sleuth already killed the family-friendliness. Um, when, uh, you know, oh, Arata happened. <laughs> Alright, alright. <laughs> oh, Christ. Ah, oh, Christ. All I'm right. gonna need a nice beer after this. <laughs> yeah. I'm more of a rum guy myself. Alright, so... Okay. Oh, sweet! Buying this game later was a good idea, because it comes with all of the updates! Yeah, bugs fixes. Yeah, you got, um, Ultimate Marvel Alliance 3? Yep. Uh, how do I start the game? <laughs> Come on. I'm literally at the start screen, I see all the updates, but I can't start the game, it's just saying, press... D-pad. You sure it's not saying uh, plus button? <laughs> I, I can't start the game, Fox. Are you sure you're this not... upsets me greatly. You sure it's not the plus button instead of the D-pad? I don't know. Uh, let me check. Uh. Hello, Shield Doggo. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am going to die. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, don't you love how you can actually skip the tutorial in this one? Like, I mean, all you, creature, right? all you have to do in order to skip it is actually catch a Pokemon, and you're good. Yeah, like, that is so... He's great! Uh, seriously though, haven't I? Wait, wait. Oh my god. It's, it might be the plus button. For, for context, you? for context, everyone, Squee literally just got a Switch in order to play Pokemon Sword and Shield. Literally got it this month in November. And, uh, he still is getting used to I got to it the on control. the day Pokemon Sword and Shield released. On November 15th. <laughs> yep. Well, that's gonna date this video. <laughs> oh, so much. Timeless videos. What are those? <laughs> hey, remember Laserdisc? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you trying? I am 25 years old, and I will make you feel old. Which, um... Yeah, th this is gonna be fun. So you only have score, buddy? Well, again, I've literally only recorded one episode, and you are a part of the episode where you meet the doggo of the legendary oh, choice. Oh, I'm in the... Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're in the very beginning, my friend. <laughs> oh, God. That, that feels so long ago. Like, years and years. I've only had the game for three... Yeah, you've only had the game for three days, and, uh... It's gonna be interesting. I can already see it. Provides a bit of entertainment and commentary. <laughs> and hey, if you like having me on the show, I'd gladly be able to be on here again. Yeah, I mean, I also, I also had a little um, uh, spoilers for the people who are still watching the Digimon Story Cybers with Let's Plays. Uh, I had a little plan where I'm actually going to have friends be like co-hosts for the optional boss fights that are at the very end of the game. Huh. Which, um... Oh, you mean those really, really cool-looking ones? Yeah. That sounds cool. The Seven Demon Lord Digimon and the Royal Knights are all optional bosses. Huh. So, uh... Yeah, that sounds fun. I'm pretty sure when I was recording them last, I started with the Seven Deadly Demon Lords. So, um, if you want to be a part of that, Squee, feel free to just message me and be like, Hey, when are you recording that? Sure. Alright, so I've got Pokemon pulled up, and here's what my team consists of. Pokemon is awesome, and I'm sad it doesn't evolve. Yeah. Uh, I've got a Snome, which... Yeah, you, you kind of hate Snom from I've what you're telling a... me. I've got a Toxic, which is awesome. Uh... I just grabbed a Grappalocked. Get it. Yeah, Grappalocked is honestly one of my favorite designs out of this generation. A, like a... I want to say Luchador, but at the same time, eh? It's... I do see why you liked it. I mean, if you look closely, it uses one of its tentacles as a belt. Crap, it does. That is so cool. <laughs> it's kind of like Greninja, where it uses its tongue enough, as the as the scarf. Yeah. Ironically enough, uh, you can grab... You can grab... Grab locks before you can grab its... Uh, its pre-evolved form, which is really weird. Like, like, these things actively go after you in the water. And I'm, Let's go, bro. Oh, so you're approaching me then. <laughs> okay, so uh, Squee, I, I have a serious question for you right now. I I just got done with the dog. I'm about to go into Route One. Do I count the closest wild Pokemon on the overworld as the first encounter or the first one I go to? Because you uh, pretty much going to go to first one I go to. Uh, okay, then in that case, it's yeah. going to be Wooloo the Meme Lord. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, pers <laughs> personally, I love Wooloo. It's it's honestly adorable, and um, I, I don't like getting into like the nitty gritty cutesy shit. Squee knows me long enough to say, yeah, that that's not him. But you can't deny, as a Pokemon, Wooloo is a brilliant design. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree, and especially how it blew up as soon as the internet saw it. I love how literally 
three hours afterwards, there was a meme about it, actually, where it had, like, a sign. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I, I saw when a certain uh, political thing I'm not gonna get into, <laughs> let's just say older generation involved, uh, was happening, and that was really popular. Um, someone made a version of the meme where it said, you know, Boomer. Oh, right. Now that's one way to date a video box. <laughs> I mean, memes are a thing. It's not really, like, dating it. And we've already dated it at least three times in this video, so... Yeah, that's fair. We're both old fucks by this point. Yeah. Yay! Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, I'm catching it right now. Let's see... Also, are you doing the uh, no dupes rule, or like you Yes, I am, I am doing no dupes, including if I encounter an evolutionary line version of it later on. I cannot catch it. Alrighty. Okay. Now, does that apply if the Pokemon has different evolutionary lines? Like, same base form, like if you don't catch the base form, but you catch, like, one of the alternate offshoots, does that also count? I'm curious. That's a good question, and honestly, I'm gonna say no. Not because I don't think that's, that's a good idea, but because it's still part of that line. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Okay. What am I going to name Wulu? Um, uh, name Lord? I have that on my personal playthrough, so I don't want to have two of them. <laughs> nah, that's fair. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is your second Pokemon. How about Gordon? I don't know how long it'll last, so why don't you name it... Um, I, I got one, I got one. Oh? Gordon? Like Gordon Ramsey? Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, make sure it's male so you can name it that, dude. It is. It is. I made sure of that before oh. catching it. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Okay. Gordon has been added to your party. Yes! Okay. And now... He has the memes, people! He has a meme gun! And he's not afraid to use it. And now what is my wild encounter in the actual grass? A Caterpie! Okay. Uh, this is gonna die. Uh... <laughs> I have no faith in this thing lasting, even though it is a level 5 against my, you know, level 8 score bunny. Oh, just, just use the wo- oh wait, yeah, you haven't healed it yet. Oh, also, that does bring him up a question. Are you doing the no, heal no items allowed in battle thing, or no? My rule is simply, if I find an item, I can use it. If I have to go to a Pokemon Center, I only can do it when I get to that town, and after a gym battle. Alright. So if you find revives, you can revive your Pokemon. No, I am not using revives to actually bring them back. And Caterpie's dead. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. <laughs> okay, first hit was still above the green. Score Bunny got a crit. <laughs> it loves you so much, it crits on everything. I know! <laughs> oh, dude, dude, I, uh... I caught a Yamper, and it evolved into its uh, second evolution. Yeah, I was in the uh, I was in the fighting gym, or uh, no, 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 it was the rock gym. Okay, because that's where it died. Uh, and it crit on every single attack. Are you serious? It crit on every single attack, and then it died to a Gigantamax. Uh, Carcol. Whatever the Gigantamax is for the rock Pokemon. Colossal, I think the name is. Oh yeah, yeah, I died to that. Oh god, rest in peace, doggo. You are my best. You are one of my best friends in that part of the game. Also, I just and now I have a no electric type, bud. I just realized I pretty much have Hop's starting team, with the exception of Rookadee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my god. Also, like Hop's is probably one of my favorite rivals now, from where I am in the game. I'm gonna be honest, right now, I'm still kind of on the line of who my favorite rival is, because Silver is probably gonna stay up there for a long time. Same with N, because N actually was from a game that I hold very near and dear to my heart. You know the story, and everyone else knows the story by now. But, Hop, I feel like is a mix between um, Barry from Diamond and Pearl, and Sharon from uh, Black and White. Hmm. You can kind of see uh, it, right? Kind of. Uh, granted, folks, uh, the, the game I started on was uh, Black. Uh, and then I just went forward and played each Pokemon game. Not getting, like, the alternate ones. I just went out of time. Uh, so, 
I love Bianca, but I hated Jaren. He was just kind of a dick. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I I'm thinking more black too and white too, Charon. Oh, okay. So when he actually grew up and became a gym leader. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, black two was easy. It's so easy. Black two was very uh, easy oh, solely because of the. Like if you ask me, Black 2 was very easy because of the fact you can find Riolu before the first gym. Like, bro, come the fuck yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. No matter who oh, you... Oh, sweet, I'm in the uh, Marnie fight right outside Dark City. Oh, nice. Um, let me know when you see Toxtricity because um, mine actually evolved on my personal playthrough and uh, it's the low key. It's the blue one. Cute. Cute. Uh... But yeah, Marnie's, Marnie's cool. I like her. Uh, Alright, you can hit me all you want. I'm just gonna drain your life out with drain kick. Smooch up. Okay, oh, just got the Pokedex, and... I've got Pokeballs, I've got the Pokedex. Now let's actually encounter some fuckers. Um, Woo! Okay, Alex, trick question. Cust character customization. Before or after I start the gyms? Do it before, man. Like, I mean, this is your personal character, so customize the crap out of your character, and then go proceed to stomp on everybody in style, because, man, you gotta look fly as fuck when you're doing this stuff. People are endorsing you, after all. Yeah. Also, I love the fact that in the first town you go to, you straight up can get some of the edgiest-looking clothes in the entire game. Yeah. I'm rocking an entire fire set. Oh, like, I'm rocking, like, black and red fire pants or something like that. Oh, my God. Uh, Hey, 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 that looks slick and cool. I'm just sad the undershirt can't be really seen with freaking overshirt on. Yeah. Uh, Me personally. If it was open just a bit more so you can actually see the inside, that'd be cool. I mean, you can always have the option to take it off. Yeah, it's true, but I get cold, man. I'm walking through a fucking desert right now. An icy desert. Icy desert, yeah. The coldness of my heart grows. Yeah. Me personally, right, on a... Oh, shit. She's sending out her Toxicroak. That one tried to literally kill three of my team members last time. Ah, fun. Oh, God. She's sending out a Toxicroak, and I have my uh, fairy dark type out. Is that good type advantage or anything, or am I fucked? You are about to die. Okay, so I'm going to switch out then. Uh, so I've got fighting. I'm going to... I don't want to throw in my bug ice, because that, that's weak as shit. I've got poison water, but I've only got one move on Venishock, and six moves of liquidation, and Toxic Curve's a fucking poison type. Okay, so... Uh, I've got another fighting type, and I've got an ice type. You're fucked. I am, <laughs> I am so fucked. Okay, so trick... Real quick, um, when you're going to do the custom character customization in the first town, can we talk about the $30,000 shirt? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I mean, uh, ridiculous price, but... Out, like, how much... Mm. Pretty ridiculous price, but I can understand why. I think that's the shirt that actually won the the contest they had for it. They had a contest? Yeah, they had a contest where you actually... Certain artists in Japan actually had a chance to get their shirt design in the game. Wow, that that's pretty cool. Yeah. Of course, it's Japan exclusive, because why wouldn't it be? Neat. Japan are a bunch of pricks some days, I swear. Oh, don't look at me like that. You know it's fucking true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I'll just change up the bag and then I'm about done. Can I get any cool hats? Ooh, I can have a golf cap. Um... Or I can have a black version of the hat you start with. I go for the hat you start with. Yeah, the, the starter hat is nice. I did not want to replace that, and then I got my new look, and I'm just like, well, hat's gotta go. You're just like, Queen Slay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Also, can we just talk about phalanx being like five, two, four, five, six, six Pokemon in one? So what you're telling me is Phalanx is the Gen 8 Dugtrio and Magneton. Basically, yeah. 
But he doesn't evolve, which really, really hurts me. I really wish he did, because come on, dude, that'd be so cool. I mean, me personally, I like Phalanx as a design concept, and when I realized that it wasn't just a fighting bug, because when you first look at it, it looks like a fighting centipede. Right? And then you realize each one is an individual Pokemon. You're like, oh, God, no, they did it again. Oh, I was like, wait, is, is this like the first Horde battle in the entire game? Holy shit! Woo! I beat your Toxicroak! Oh, congratulations. And now... I have named my failings Caboose after Red and Blue. Hey. Alright, uh, she's throwing out a Scrafty, which is fighting Dark, I believe? Yes, and uh, you're going to want Flying or Fairy. Alright, so I'm switching back in Arthur the Goblin, man. Arthur the Goblin? <laughs> I'm like, okay, you, you're you like evil as shit. I'm going to name you after King Arthur. Alright. Alright, let's go, Scrafty. I'm going to drain your life with my magical draining kiss. Pucker up! <laughs> okay, Leon just gave me the 20 Pokeballs, and now, let's see, who the fuck am I actually gonna catch in Route 2? Also, Professor's House, the purple house in the very beginning of the game, would you count that as a separate area because of the gate, or would you count that as Route 2 still? Squee? You there, buddy? I can't hear you, dude. Hang on a second, folks. And with that, um, hopefully that fixed itself. So, gonna take off the headphones now. And that was Squee the Mog, everybody. Um, <laughs> there might be issues because weather right now is a bitch around here. <gasps> Yapper! Please, please. Yes! You're mine! Weather is a fun thing right now here in Vermont. So, uh, <laughs> not too surprised, actually. Go for the Ember again. Oh, it's got Nuzzle too. Hell yeah. Come on, Yamper. Come join me, please. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome! Everyone on the team leveled up. Okay. Yes, I'm going to name it... Doge. Why? Because Doge. Okay. Now we have Doge as a team member. Which is great. Um, gonna heal up. Oh, I've got a Paralyze Heal. I didn't realize that. I'm gonna use Doge to put the potion on Doge. And now, uh... What is my In the Grass encounter? A Rookie D! I got lucky on the first route. Hell yes, buddy. Hell yeah. Gonna go with an Ember for that stab. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, 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 um, I'm gonna switch into Gordon, so that way it can tank a couple hits, and actually, I can get Rook -a D. Oh, only four damage, easy, Leer, alright, alright, that's fair. 
Um, come on with the tackle. I forgot. Stab. Fuck. Um, please catch it. Yes. Okay, I've caught my fourth Pokemon encounter for the entire game. And now, I would say I'm adequately set to take on the first two gyms of the game. Um, Rookadi, what am I going to nickname you? Aquila. And with that, uh, I'm going to heal up. And then, we're gonna go for it. Stick with King Kaz up front, so that way I've got a strong Pokemon up front. I'm not gonna go for any encounters now that I've gotten my Pokemon in the game. But, if I have a Pokemon run into me, I'm actually going to fight them, obviously. And, uh, sorry I kinda just blazed through um, the other portions of the story. That's what happens when you get a co-host, and I don't mind Squee being a part of the show. Honestly, I'm really happy that he was part of the show, because he's one of my best friends, I've known him for a long time, and uh, he's like a brother that I never had. Okay, fighting a Squovit. Um, go for that stab, Ember. Go for that stab. Going for that stab tackle, okay. Um... Again, going for that stab. Yeah. Tail whip. <laughs> Easy. Go for the quick attack. And we are Gucci, my friend. Woo! Okay, Gordon. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. Yes, you do, because you are a dumb, dumb kid. <laughs> um, I'll swap for Doge to be up front. Get a little more diverse battling in. Okay, perfect timing, actually. D, you are going to be taken down so quick. Come on, Doge. Nuzzle. Nuzzle this bitch. Power trip. Yeah, that does only two damage. Yeah, yeah, no, Doge is gonna be fine. It's gonna be just fine. And we got the paralysis. Well, Nuzzle kinda has guaranteed paralysis, I've realized, so. Not not too impressive, but. And the paralysis works in my favor! Nice. Go for the nuzzle one more time. Hell yeah! Okay, Aquila's getting a level. Nice. Uh, go for the item. Jump down. Go for the next. Okay. I thought I was going to have enough room in between, but I guess not. Uh, Doge, there we go. Unnerve, okay. Nuzzle. This Rook of D is just as strong as the last one. Come on, Nuzzle. Nuz, Nuz, Nuzzle. There's no way that was not a crit. Yep, I called it. That was a crit. Hell yeah. Doge, my dude. Okay, that actually go on. Ooh, three more Pokeballs. Nice. Um, I forget what she has. So, kind of... Just gonna hope for the best. Last Lauren. Okay. 
You start with a Choodle. Oh! Oh, this actually works! This works in my favor! Go for that Nuzzle. You get that Paralysis and the Stab damage. Oh, hell yes, buddy! Ooh, excuse me. Nuzzle. Okay. For a crit, that's honestly pretty weak. Come on, Doge. 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 Do 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 Doge. Okay, Aquila, you gotta level up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Nuzlocke is looking good so far. Okay, I know you have a fly- uh, not a flying, um, a bug type. So I'm gonna swap for Aquila to be up front, because I'm pretty sure it has at least peck. Yeah, it has at least peck. Okay. Come on. I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you. Yeah, yeah, no, you losing, Benjamin. You are losing. Aquila. Gonna rock a peck peck here and a peck peck there, motherfucker. <gasps> if that went for a one turn knockout, that would have been amazing. But nah, Aquila is just. just not strong enough yet, I'm afraid. Alright, go for another peck. Okay, okay. Still no level. That's fine. Nicket is a um, dark type. So I'm gonna swap in for Gordon. Let him get a little more damage out there. Okay. I'm gonna tackle. That's nothing. If you had beat up, I'd be worried, but clearly you're not gonna use beat up because that'd be the smart thing to do. You know, when your health is, you know, under the yellow. Tail whip. You're just done for, kid. Accept the fact. Yeah, you got greedy. Gordon wins. Kind of wanted Nicket on the team just for that dark type coverage. But at the same time, I want Galarian Zigzagoon because Obstacoon, my boy! Lose to wild Pokemon, lose to many trainers. He gives you 420. <laughs> I'm kind of curious before that. Because... Don't you get, like... One... Yeah, you get a water encounter because you start with the fishing rod. Okay, who's my water encounter? Magikarp! Ooh, okay. I'm down with that. I'll lock the game with a Magikarp. Go for Peck. I'll use Power Trip next, so it's a less damaging attack. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain lugging Magikarp around, but at the same time, it's also gonna be pretty easy to do. Okay. 
Match Carp's data will be added to the Pokedex. Um. Surprise. Why not? Okay. And, uh. Yeah, it's still technically Route 2. So have you unraveled all the secrets of Dynamax? Yep, granddaughter. Pretty much just telling story right now, which honestly we don't care about right now. We will in the sword playthrough, but as of right now, we do not. Is that an unknown on her head? Like on her headband? I feel like it is, but at the same time, I don't know. Wait, did, did he just heal us? He healed us! Hell yeah! Okay, um... Let's see... He has a Wulu, the starting enemy Pokemon, and a Rookadi. So, I kind of want to match him. I know that's not necessarily the best plan, but I kind of want to make it a fair fight. So, before that though, um, I'm going to go for all the secret items. Bottle of fresh water, that's going to be useful. And there's a great ball over here. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's a great ball. Hell yeah. Now I got a better chance at catching one of the Pokemon later on. Probably gonna go for one of the guaranteed encounters. And I feel like... Haha! I missed this on my first playthrough. Payback. Ooh. I'm gonna see if anyone can learn that right now. Because if they can, and they don't have four moves, I'm just going to remove one of their status buff moves. Yeah, Leer, I'm not going to use. Okay. And with that, we're good to go. Now we've got a little bit of a move coverage. Yeah, I felt like there was another secret item. No big deal. Hurry it up, Fox Rose. Hey, Hop. Hop. How about, you know, you screw off? Of course. Let's rock and roll, bitches. Listen, you two. Yeah, yeah, shut that fridge up, Leon. It's time for my legend to begin. So to me, it's obvious who's gonna win this fight. Wooloo, okay. Gordon! Oh, mine's stronger! Hell yeah! Okay, I did. He, I got four damage. He got way more. <laughs> you know, every time you waste a turn trying to weaken me or strengthen yourself up, you're still getting d hit, you know. Yeah, while you're struggling to make it to halfway on my health, I've already got you under half. You're in the red now. Hell yeah! Pretty obvious who's gonna win this one. Especially now that you growled. Oh, 
Uh, that would have been such a dick move if, you know, just a little bit of EXP, not EXP damage, didn't go through. Copycat, yes, we want to ditch Growl, I ironically. Um, and learn Copycat instead, nice. Surprise! Okay, Grookey, yes, I want to swap out to King Kaz. So that we can get that stab. Ooh, that stab is gonna be so sweet. Wait, is is the tree growing onto her house? Um, Professor Magnolia, you might want to consider, you know, a gardener. Well, look at you. Seems you've really learned your type matchups. Well, no shit. It's common knowledge. Our green power just keeps on growing stronger. Branch poke. Are you serious? That's a move? That's so dumb! That's really dumb! Okay, King Kaz, Aquila, and Doge all leveled up. Nice! Go for Aquila, because again, I kind of wanted to do a mirror match against him. I only could because of the fact that I actually have all these Pokemon. Rookadi, here we go! It's going to be pretty clear who's going to win this, but... I ain't complaining. Okay, go for the pack. Go for the next pack. And boom! We're rocking. We are rocking! Okay. Oof, got it that I lost. And with that. Uh, after we're done with all this dialogue, I'm going to cut the episode. Yeah, yeah, can you just skim through this, please? I really am just mashing the A button right now because I really don't want to deal with this. I love the story in this game, genuinely. I do. It's probably one of the better stories we have in Pokemon right now, but it's not good for a Nuzlocke. Where, you know, you're focusing on the struggle of actually trying to beat the League with a self-imposed challenge that is honestly pretty freaking hard. Yeah, wishing start. You better give me one, asshole. Okay. Ah, Sonya just arrived. Nice! Good timing, bitch! Hop, will you stop doing that? Please and thank you. Stop being annoying. And do something useful, please. I know. Very rough concept to grasp, but... But! You could do it. Come on, zip the lip and flip and go! Yep, now we get the Dynamax bands. Okay. Dynamax bands, thank you.
Okay, finally in control again. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Comment in the comment section with all your tips, tricks, and all that shite. Subscribe if you're new. Favorite the video if you want, but who the hell favorites videos these days? Next time on the channel, um, hopefully we can get another gas star. If we can't, it's okay. But I'm just letting you know what I kind of want. Anyways, this is Fox Rose, and I'm telling you all... Rock and roll, dudes and vixens!